you to pursue careers in creative industries? It really just starts with bringing art into every facet of my life right now, just really using it to, especially for storytelling, is, which is what I most revolve my art around, is really finding all these different mediums and ways to tell stories, whether it's through pottery or painting or music. Hey Leo, why art? Um, you see, it's funny. I relate to what a lot of what Train said. I've always had this like thing inside me where I wanted to make stories. Like, what if there was Norse gods in space? Well, what would they be like? Like, I've always had like this need to like tell all these different ideas. Some of them were like inventions. Some of them were like like talk shows. But um, I always had this kind of like blockage because um, like I couldn't really draw very well or write very well. So. And even though sometimes I'm articulate, sometimes it was really hard to get what I was trying to say out. So I've always had this blockage between what's up here John, and what's here. What is it about Studio Life that draws you near? Well, I wanted to help the youth involved. It's a, it's a good thing uh, to help them get to do art in a free and creative environment. Uh, I'm interested in art. I think it's an important because uh, I have an industrial design background. I, uh, we collaborated on, uh, uh, I helped them uh, put together an abstract sculpture that represents to them uh, studio life as, as kind of a logo or symbolic totem for them. They each uh, got to do some, some welding on this piece, each of the students in the class, and then I helped piece it together and we have that totem. And uh, so that's a real cool thing. And the whole process has just been uh, uh, helping youth uh, come up in the artistic world and explore it and, and learn new things. That's what Studio Life means to me. I'm Leo from earlier. I'm asking you a question. Why did you start Studio Life? I started Studio Life to give the youth in the community a chance to make art outside of the traditional public school classroom because I think there is so much more to learn about art making and the practice of art than just in the mere walls inside a public school. That the real learning actually happens in the gallery, in the public sphere. And I wanted to inspire my students to expand their horizons. And I also love teaching. And it pumps me up. <laughs>